Today I'm going to show you guys how to reduce swirls and scratches when washing your vehicle by using the grit guard. Now the grit guard is a tool designed to sit at the bottom of your bucket and it reduces swirl marks and scratches when washing your vehicle by keeping dirt and debris at the bottom of your bucket. There's multiple ways to use the grit guard and it's the ultimate way to reduce swirl marks and scratches on your vehicle. 95% of swirl marks and scratches are caused by improper washing or dirt and debris contaminating your wash mitt and scratching your paintwork. The grit guard is designed to help reduce those scratches by keeping the dirt and debris away from your wash mitt for a cleaner and scratch free washing experience. So let's tell you all about the grit guard and how to use it. The grit guard comes in a variety of colors, blue, black, yellow, and red. We have all the grit guards here to show exactly what they look like and how to use it. Now the grit guard is a unique device that sits at the bottom of your wash bucket. It features a clear top, which actually allows water to move in and out of the surface with a grit textured top and also features fins on the bottom. Now these fins on the bottom are designed to keep dirt and debris from moving up to the top of the bucket and keeps them suspended at the bottom. What the grit guard does is sits at the bottom of your wash bucket and over time the dirt and debris that falls off your wash mitt or off your vehicle will fall past the screen and land in one of these four quadrants around the circle. Now what these fins do is these fins allow the wash water to not affect the dirt. So as I slosh around my wash water to gain suds or clean my mitt, the dirt is not going to be affected by the turbulence created by the wash mitt. Now let's show you guys exactly how to use the grit guard. Now the grit guard features two holes right in the center of the grit guard. These are designed to fit two fingers, either your middle and your pointer finger or your pointer finger and your thumb to place it at the bottom of the bucket. So I can take the grit guard and easily place it at the bottom of the bucket. It's designed to fit perfectly on the edge and not be affected by the turbulence of the water. So the way the grit guard works is I place the grit guard in both of my buckets. I have two buckets right here and I have a grit guard placed in the bottom of them. This one has a black grit guard. The colors are, uh, are to distinguish whatever bucket choice you want to use for your cleaning or just for a stylish pick. I like using a lighter colored uh, grit guard for my clean water and a black grit guard for my dirty water. So I'm going to place my black grit guard at the bottom of my bucket. Now I fill these normal buckets with our wash water. I fill the black with clear water and I also fill the blue with water and soap. Then I take my wash mitt of choice. This is one of our microfiber dreadlock style wash mitts. I like these because they can fit on your hand or off the hand and they're a very premium wash mitt. So what I first start out is I take my wash mitt and I dip it in the bucket. Okay. Now I pull out my wash mitt with soap. I go ahead and wash my vehicle. When I'm done washing my vehicle, the front of my wash mitt should be dirty and black with soiled grime and filth from the vehicle. I then take my, my wash mitt and put it into my dirty bucket. Now this is where I clean my water. Now when I put my wash mitt inside the bucket, what I'm actually doing is placing the wash mitt on the grit guard and then I'm rubbing the wash mitt on the grit guard. Now what this is doing is cleaning the wash mitt and taking all the dirt and debris that's on the wash mitt and moving it into the lower quadrants past the screen. That means I'm turning a dirty wash mitt into a clean wash mitt, keeping my dirt in my dirty bucket, and then moving over to my clean bucket. Now you might be asking, why do I need a grit guard in my clean bucket? That's for extra assurance to make sure that I do not scratch my vehicle. I want all of my dirt to fall past the grit guard to make sure that I do not scratch or cause swirl marks to my paintwork. Now the grit guard also has several other uses. I like to take my grit guard and use it to dry out my wash mitt. So after I'm done with washing my vehicle for the day when my wash mitt is wet, I can place it on my grit guard, I can place it out in the sun, and that allows my wash mitt to not come in contact with the ground. That means all of the water can sink past the grit guard and I can have a perfectly dry wash mitt naturally dried by the sun. So I don't have to waste any extra energy drying it in the dryer and I don't have to worry about my wash mitt sitting on the floor. We never want to place our wash mitt on the ground. If we do, it can pick up dirt and debris, so we can easily let it rest on our wash mitt and keep it, or our grit guard and keep our wash mitt elevated off the ground. You can also use the grit guard double stacked for extra sensitivity. So let's say you're washing a very dirty car and you do, do not want to scratch the vehicle at all. You want to make sure that you have the highest level of scratch protection. You could actually take two grit guards 
and you can double stack them inside your wash bucket for a double effect of grit guard cleaning protection. That way, no matter what you do, there's a high level of water at the bottom of your bucket and your grit guard is never gonna come in contact with the bottom of your bucket.